Today we are going to talk how to check if links are broken after scanning. So basically when you start to replace magic, what you will need to do first, please go to configuration, then to processing and make sure that check does hyperlink exist and check does file link exist are selected. Second thing, you need to select location where you would like to make scan. So in this case, I will go to SharePoint as, and as I already had some uh, scans before, I will just go to connection history and select one of locations where, where I was already doing scanning. Then I'm connecting to the site and what is happening, basically we're doing authentication against SharePoint and if everything goes okay, then you will see full-blown uh, SharePoint tree view structure. Basically everything what is under selected uh, uh, site URL. In this case, it's replacemagic.sharepoint.com. Now, assuming that I have some documents which are stored in uh, documents uh, document library and for example, in folder Excel, I will just select this location. Of course, you can select any of locations, complete document library, compute site, maybe some sub site. I'm not going to do that because basically in this uh, site, I have thousands of links, uh, sorry, thousands of documents, like if I'm not wrong, maybe 10 to 20,000 documents. So I will just, in this example, use one location where there are only a couple of files. Pay attention also in case if there are some subfolders inside of this location, you would like that they are also checked. This uh, checkbox has to be selected. So search in subfolders. After selecting location, just click on OK, and then you can see that location was basically transferred here. In this part below, you can see all document formats, which are uh, which will be basically uh, checked. In case if you want to filter according to something, then you can go to Docs filter and then you can select something else or maybe add some additional uh, extensions. Important remark here is that if you add some additional extensions, then uh, we are reading those documents as a normal text files. So you cannot simply go and, for example, add, I don't know, Photoshop uh, uh, file and uh, replace magic cannot work with that type of document, so we do not support them. What we support, you can see here, but we are talking about Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Project, Visio, uh, sh Windows shortcuts, OneNote, PDF, text files, and uh, recently we added also EML, so emails and uh, EMLs of message type. So per default, everything is selected. That's important to remark. Now, how to start scanning? So, if we start scanning right now, uh, considering that we have parameters to check if links are broken or not, what will happen? Replace Magic will connect to location that we selected. So, replacemagic.sharepoint.com, documents, and then Excel folder. And then we are downloading documents, reading what is inside of those documents. And then, when complete processing and all files are accessed, then we will report this dashboard and tell you some statistical information like how many uh, documents we found, uh, the total number of process documents. In case if we skip some files, then you will see this counter uh, here. And then we are also reporting how many links are broken. There are also, of course, some additional information like document types, um, then uh, split per document type and then so where we are also specifying how uh, what is the size of those documents and of course you can see what type of links we found in my test cases you can see i have only hyperlinks and link sources there will be also some additional tabs and here for example you can see that download time took 3.6 seconds and process to read those eight documents took 3.9 seconds this is not in total it was 9.2 because uh, there is also some slight overhead uh, when we're connecting. Of course, with eight documents, we will not see uh, uh, big differences. But when you have plenty of documents and depending on parallelization, those numbers might, uh, might of course, uh, have different values. Now, what is the target of this presentation? Check for broken links. So basically, here in this column, you will see uh, the documents. You can see how many links we have, how many links we found there. 
and then you can see how many links are broken. And if I go, for example, to hyperlinks, then I can see what is my, my link at the end. You see, so I have Microsoft.com, then I have Microsoft.com document, which clearly is a broken link, Microsoft.com sites, which is a broken link, then Mark.com, which most likely is okay, and some other uh, links also. And then what Replace Magic will tell you exactly what I mentioned. So Microsoft.com, obviously, link is okay. So it's telling us link is okay because what we are doing, uh, when we find some link, we will send a request to that location. And depending on what uh, web server on the other side is telling us, or file server in case of uh, network shares, for example, then we will report that back. So when we try to access Microsoft.com, Microsoft web server just told us, hey, I am there, I exist, so I'm accessible, and this is what we're reporting. So this is this code 200. On the other side, Microsoft.com document and Microsoft.com sites, as this is broken link, you can see we are reporting it's a broken link and then we are saying that remote name could not be resolved because that link, you see, it does not exist. So there are uh, no domains with com sites or com document. In case of this one, it's also working. Mark is working. Okay, this is a file link. Obviously, in my SharePoint, I don't have relative links or I don't have location, which is called PQ, WER, etc. So this relative link uh, will be reported as a broken link. And this here, user.pioneer.com with some, some parameters is broken or potentially it's not really broken. Maybe it's even working, but this error code 403 is telling us that we are not authorized to see that. So this is also one disclaimer. We are working with web servers and they're giving us some response. Depending on that response, we will report something. If we try to access location and uh, this is password protected location, then we will get this forbidden um, error code 403 and we will report that. That does not necessarily mean that this link is broken, but simply replace magic is not authenticating itself against that location. We're simply just sending a normal request and waiting on the response. So, but at the end, key thing is selecting under processing those two checkboxes, selecting a location, in my case, SharePoint. I could also go to some, some network location on, on my side or maybe to my, my local drive. And of course, uh, which document types I would like to process. And then at the end, it's just to click on the scan document documents button and to wait. And after that, you can see results. Maybe additional information here, everything what you see in Replace Magic, you can export. So there is in each and every tab, you have export list functionality where you can just export everything what we found. So if we click on save, then basically this is happening when we are exporting. And then if I open the document, now let's see if it's going to be open, oh, it's opened on the other screen, but anyway, I'll pull the file. Then you can see that this is simply telling us exactly that what we can see in Replace Magic. So the file uh, folder, file name, and then different counters. And then I have hyperlinks counter, uh, sorry, worksheet. And in this uh, worksheet, you can see uh, hyperlink and also also what we discussed previously with hyperlink exists with a link OK or broken link. And that's all. So I was just spending a bit more time on, on this discussion, but in general, like I said, the key thing is just select those two, param two parameters, two checkboxes in uh, configuration processing, and then select location and let it let replace magic scan your documents and then you will see which links are broken or not what is maybe additional thing uh, after scanning this is what you can use also when you think how to fix those links because when you go to hyperlinks and you see that there are some links obviously not this dot com document i need to replace with dot uh, uh, com and then i need to put slash and then document or com sites again it is missing um, uh, slash and then potentially it could work. Probably it will not because I doubt that Microsoft uh, has this location. So pointing to exactly this file and uh, this folder and everything. But the easy fix just to clear 
or, or clean up this uh, remote name could not be resolved would be just to put then a slash between .com and document and .com and sites. And that's all. So in case of anything, you can always reach us over support at replacemagic.com. Thank you. Bye.